My name is Mario Franco. This webcast is about the Sustainable Attitude Project Master Plan. The concept of a master plan is an ICT education plan to plan the actions, the different actions in one holistic view related to the inclusion of technology in education. This is very important, considering the, the number of uh, different aspects and components related to ICT in education. Sometimes uh, make people lose their, their capacity to implement the projects. The idea here is to show an overview of the different components at the same time. The second aspect is related to the main frameworks uh, published by public sector and private sector related to the planning of this type of initiatives, in a, especially in a wide scale. In this webcast, we go to present Saber ICT. Saber is a World Bank framework, which means systems approach for better education results. And the word Saber is a word in Latin language special in Portuguese, in Spanish, means uh, knowledge. And we go to describe this framework as a tool to planning uh, education systems. Saber is a framework uh, not only in ICT, but a framework for education systems. It includes governance, include resources, include information, and include different aspects, different levels, then ICT is one component of this global framework for education systems and is from the World Bank. Sabir ICT is part of this framework uh, as one of the complementary inputs and cross-cutting teams uh, then this is focused on ICT in information and communication uh, technologies and in that uh, field is part of the framework, as you can see in the picture. In this context, we go to present uh, the severe ICT from the World Bank uh, and in particular the policy goals defined in this framework. As you can see, Saber ICT has identified eight key policy teams. And in the and we in this webcast we go to look at uh, each of these eight policy teams identified. The first team is vision and planning. Uh, we can find this team uh, in other frameworks and of course this team is very important because sometimes the planning start without a clear definition of the vision what we want to achieve or when the vision is defined there is no a plan to engage the different stakeholders teachers students in the construction of the common vision when I say common vision, it doesn't mean everybody have the same vision, but at least everybody understand what are the components of the vision and how the vision will evolve in the future and make people feel part of this process. Another uh, team is, uh, the second team, is ICT infrastructure. There are different aspects to be considered in this the devices or the connectivity or the software used by the teachers and students and the managers the the ict infrastructure at the classroom level at the school level and as a, a system level then in this case uh, it's a very important team to be analyzed in this framework and in other frameworks Another, another important team is related to the teachers. Uh, 
we know we have the the teachers competence framework from from UNESCO uh, but training the teachers preparing the teachers and helping the teachers to use ICT in education will be one of the key teams to design a, a policy on uh, including ICT in education another team of this framework is skills and competences we know it is important to define what kind of skills are required what kind of skills uh, we aim to develop in the system and competences not only the skills but the competences gained and developed during this process then this will be this is one of the the, the important uh, teams and one of the eight teams choose by this framework the the fifth team is learning resources uh, it's important to uh, to talk about it because in different countries uh, we have different perspectives we have uh, private publishers public publishers we have international publishers we have content generated by the teachers themselves even by the students and uh, this is not only resources like content but is different methodologies different approaches then all the aspects related to the learning resources are one of the key points of this framework in any policy on this topic another uh, team and another component is education management information system sometimes this is not uh, don't deserve the same attention it should be because if we want to manage students teachers even facilities and learning resources and all the system we need an MEs. we need an education management information system and and to develop this system with partners and uh, inside in-house it is necessary a very very detailed plan and human resources to manage this then this should be taking in consideration as one of the most uh, important pillars to make success or unsuccess in a ICT policy in education the seven uh, point of this uh, framework uh, of these teams are monitoring and evaluation assessment research and innovation uh, the questions of evaluation assessment of the learning achievements but evaluation of the system and the creation of conditions to innovate because we 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 never can define one policy with clear results from day one uh, and all results will be achieved under that that framework as we plan then we need to create space for innovation for research to adjust the system to improve the system because this is innovative approach then it needs to consider inside the process of evaluation of the system in order to improve the system during the time where the policy is uh, implemented the goal number eight and the last of this uh, policy goals in this framework is equity inclusion and safety for one side we need to guarantee every student and every teacher it's uh, not dependent on the context the the economic context of their families of their social context or any other context we make big differences because introducing this can be a very powerful tool to improve education but if the people are excluded then it creates even more asymmetric society then equity and inclusion should be one of the key points the other aspect is safety and security we can say uh, because there are many reasons to do that there are uh, problems relate to the the equipment to the devices when they are transport between school and home or some other place there are questions of uh, cyber security and cyber safety privacy of the data then this will be a key point in any policy and uh, these are the eight points of this uh, plan uh, of course you can uh, uh, this will need to be presented in more detail uh, in the future 
but uh, this idea is to give you an overview of the policy goals included in Saber ICT. Considering the, the level of information and the maturity of ICT education policies, uh, this is a moving target. Uh, then the, the World Bank uh, make available the website with this framework uh, and there are many information about the different cases and uh, you can find all this information uh, on, on the website and also we will keep uh, attentive to this to this framework and how it evolves in the, the news about this then. Please visit the website uh, in this case uh, because this is really a moving a moving uh, target. This webcast is part of the Sustainable ETDU Policy Framework Accelerator Workshop. And this webcast or this group of webcasts related to distance learning and education can uh, be used um, as a single model or you can choose to go to all the, um, the workshop and because some of the other webcasts in other sections uh, will be related to the implementation or uh, have subjects related to this webcast. Then this webcast is not uh, alone, but you can go and see more and more information in the other, in the other parts. Of, of this workshop. The workshop itself is part of the Sustainable ATU Policy Framework Architecture, which is a framework of frameworks to train and planning and implement ICT education projects in a sustainable way. Then uh, please feel free to go to the website and to uh, look at the different parts, different sections where I uh, deliver a lot of uh, videos and also documents and links to implement this kind of projects. Thank you.